yesterday, Nancy made a big announcement about Siegfried and Roy. They are adding three cute white lion cubs <laughs> to their secret garden at the Mirage in Las Vegas. Yeah, they're cute right now because they're little. That's right. <laughs> well, that is why I went to Vegas to meet the cubs for the very first time. But when I sat down with Siegfried and Roy, we talked about the incident that left Roy partially paralyzed. And he told me something I have never heard before. When the accident happened, I thought everything is stopped. Now it's not, but now uh, I think we are in a good space. He's still Every alive. Is a, is, a, is a present. I'm thankful to God for every breath I can take. October 3rd, 2003, Roy Horn near death and rushed into emergency surgery. There's been so many different versions that you hear of what actually happened. But all wrong. They're all wrong. Despite what you may have heard about what happened between Roy and the 600 pound Bengal tiger named Montecore, the men say the truth has never been accurately reported before. He passed out. He passed out he on passed stage. Out. He passed out before yeah, the incident. Right. I, got, I got a stroke when I fall down and I seen the blue eyes still looking at me. I thought now what happened. So he did what every cat do when she has a little. He picked me up by the neck and brought him, came for me to, to the side for you know. Like you a mother safe. with a cub. Oh yeah, he, he, he took care of me. He said we had my, my artery was an absolute blessing because that's going to lead to blood pressure. How about you would be brain dead? You were saying the doctor was saying that had Montecore not relieved the pressure, you would not have lived? Yeah, I could have been vegetable. Then I had the operation and to relieve the pressure of the pain, which you took the whole top of the head off. And during that time, I had three more strokes. I died clinically three times on the operation table. Wow. And but you're still here on kicking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Roy maintains an amazing attitude, and he never blamed Montecore for what happened. Montecore passed away just about three months ago. And my brother. Your brother. I know you've actually called him your blood brother. Oh, yeah. He had my blood and I had his blood. The accident impaired Roy's ability to speak and walk, and he's never regained full use of his left side. But he and Siegfried persevere in their life's mission, helping to save rare wild animals from extinction. Meet these three adorable white lion cubs, Freedom, Timba Masai, and Madiba. How big are they going to get? How many pounds? Five, six hundred. Five or six hundred pounds? I'm glad I'm meeting them now. Starting Friday, the Cubs will join the big cats at Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden at the Mirage in Las Vegas. When I go to the Secret Garden mm -hmm. and everybody comes to have a prayer picture, which I'm happy to do so, but at the end they always say, and how is Roy? Very well.